and also to uh, to analyze uh, any climate change right so well, before i start uh, this video please like subscribe and share uh, this youtube so um, let's get start uh, we have to see first we have to see the uh, the data um, properties therefore uh, this one is the data right and so uh, this data has uh, this is the data of 35 years that's from 2023 up to 2023 uh, right so um, that's uh, 17 columns 17 uh, color columns the first uh, 12 is R, but the ones of the year, right? January, that's from January up to um, December, right? Therefore, we have to prepare in this way. The ones, okay? This one is what? The seasons. Up to this, we have the seasons, right? But in Ethiopia, uh, there are uh, four seasons. This one is the spring. This one is the summer. That's the autumn and this one is the uh, winter, right? And this one is what? The annual uh, rainfall, okay? That means the summation of uh, this uh, 12, this 12 uh, months, okay? This one is the summation of those uh, rainfall of 12 months. And the, this one is the summation of rainfall during, what? during the spring. This one is doing the out uh, the summer, and this one is the uh, autumn. And this one is doing the uh, winter. Okay. <coughs> Therefore, we have the data in uh, this manner. Uh, above the title has to be uh, right. This way, that is the data range and the station. The station. Okay. In this way. We can prepare the data, okay? After we prepare the data, we have to, uh, we, have, we are going to uh, analyze this precipitation data, right? Therefore, to, uh, to analyze whether there is a change or not in the precipitation, we have to use what? The software, which is called Uncanda and the Sandlop test software, right? Therefore, let me open. Let me click on that, okay? Says what? Name of in profile. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to write this one. Okay, this one is the data. Okay. We have to write the name of this. Uh, uh, the data. Right. Salda. Hyphen. Ren. Okay. Salda. Salda. Hyphen. Ren. Then, target. We have to write target, okay? For the input, we have to write target. Then, hit enter. Then, this one is what? Name of the output file, okay? Therefore, we have to write the same name here. So, that, and then, uh, I can uh, rewrite. So, yeah. I can run. Okay? That. Out now under the output we have to write what out okay after the name here for the input we have to write text for the output we have to write what out out then after we write and this way we have to what hit enter okay enter okay now that it happened here this happened here okay so so uh, this one is what the computer data can okay, analyze the data right so i need the raw data you want to analyze the data right therefore let let me open okay right <coughs> okay this one is what the analyze the data okay so i said first the first month start with january and the last one this one is at the annual data, the annual data, okay? Therefore, 
if you analyze this uh, data, we have to see what z value. The z value. So if you see this, this this is what six point six nine. Okay, this one is greater than one point nine six. Therefore, since if that uh, calculated value of the or the value which was calculated is uh, greater than the z critical or z tabulated, conclude that there is a trend. Okay, there is a trend. But which, which kind of trend? Increasing or decreasing? Since this one is positive, okay, this one is positive. Therefore, it is a unclaimed trend. Right? Therefore, the critical value, the critical value for um, Z is what? 1.96. For what? For 95% confidence level. How? Let's, let me show you. So, uh, later. Okay. <coughs> Uh, our confidence level is about 95 percent or 0 0.95 right therefore we have to calculate what then at the age of 1 plus 95 percent 95 percent means 0 0.95 right 0 0.95 okay is equal to and divided by divided by 2 okay equals what? 0 0.95 okay we have to find this value in the um, z table or in the um, tabulated uh, value the z table right okay 0 0.975 okay therefore let's show you so one is the z table z value z table okay so uh, in this one this uh, in this table we have to go uh, we have to find out the value of this one this one 0 0.975 so uh, uh, okay this one is it 0 0.975 okay in the in the in the row row 1.95 and along the column 0 0.06 okay therefore 1.9 plus 0 0.06 is equal to okay let's calculate 1.9 plus 0 0.06 6 okay is equal to 1.96 okay so uh, we can calculate the critical value of the uh, tabulated value of um, z this way okay this one is for 95 percent or 95 and 95 percent confidence level okay in this way in this way you can calculate for any uh, confidence level for example, if you want for 95, 99% or 90, 90%, you can calculate this way, right? Therefore, since you are confident 95% for the alternate or the alternative hypothesis to be uh, accepted, we have to use this way, right? Therefore, the Z value, this, uh, this one is a calculated Z value. This one is a calculated. This calculated Z value is higher much much higher than the tabulated value of 1.196 therefore there is a, a positive trend in the what and the first model in january there is an increase in there is an increase in the trend and a precipitation during this month right therefore we will see this one sun slope is because that it increases by this much, okay? By 0 
zero, uh, point zero slash slash, okay? Increase by this much, uh, millimeters, okay? And when we come to uh, the second uh, month, see, see this one. This one is uh, the absolute value. We have to, we have to, see, the, we have to see the absolute value. This one is what? The absolute value of this one is greater than what? 1.96. Therefore, there is a trend. There is a trend. Which kind of trend? Since this one is negative, and, and a decreasing trend. Okay, there is a decreasing trend during the uh, second month and uh, precipitation. By this one, by this, by this much value, okay. I think decreased by this, by this much value, right. And, for example, if you see in the third month, if you see this one, the absolute value of this one is greater than 1.96. Therefore, it's greater than... Uh, since it's greater than 1.496, there is a trend. But which kind of trend? It's a negative trend, right? Which can say it's a negative trend. Therefore, it is, increased, it is decreased by this, uh, this uh, arrow. Okay? In this way, you can, uh, you, can, you can interpret the result of this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, software. So, uh, let me see, let me show you the the season, okay? This one is the spring, okay? Spring season. Therefore, we see the z value. This one is uh, 7.06. It is greater than 1.96. Therefore, this part, this part, there is, there is a trend. But there is an, a, a, a decreasing trend. Okay? So, is decreased by this, by this mass. So, uh, for example, if you see the annual uh, annual data, this is the annual data. This one is uh, seven point six four. Okay, it's greater than one point nine six. Therefore, this one uh, there is a positive a positive trend. At and five percent confidence level. Okay, therefore, in this way, you can you can you can analyze whether there is a, an increasing or a decreasing, a decreasing trend in a precipitation. Also, you can use the same uh, you can use the same method for uh, temperature. Okay, so um, I hope this video will be very this video is very very helpful for you. So, uh, if you like this video, please uh, share, subscribe, and uh, like. So, uh, thank you very much.